Just because he can't find anything in the statement that he disagrees with, the honourable gentleman now thinks there must be something hidden away that I haven't mentioned, which he can object. First of all, um, raiding the BBC licence fee uh, to pay for government projects was something that his government initiated uh, with the analogue switchover. But, uh, um, Budget. Se- secondly, uh, I have made plain to him, and I said in my statement, that the funding settlement that we agreed with the BBC last year represents a broadly flat cash settlement once one takes into account the fact that we have now agreed that the licence fee uh, should begin to rise again after a uh, freeze, uh, and that we will close the iPlayer loophole, and that we will do away with the top slices for broadband um, and local television. And thirdly, I made it explicit that the licence fee settlement is for five years. The government has no intention of revisiting that until the next licence fee settlement, which will be part of a new, more independent and transparent process in which we discuss it with the funding needs of the BBC with the membership. Um, obviously, there will be opportunities for non-executive directors uh, to be chosen both uh, under the public appointments process by the government that I've set out, but also by the BBC board, and I'm sure that they will want to um, appoint the best possibly uh, best possible people uh, to um, represent every section of the community on the BBC board. So, Peter Bottomley. I think the point about diversity, which I support, should be the target of getting inclusiveness so that people actually are drawn together. Can I say to my radical friend that on page 78 he mentions digital radio? Uh, if you'd like to come by bus or on the road anyway. Pressing the importance uh, of diversity uh, in all that the BBC does, that is not just about serving uh, BAME uh, audiences and ensuring there is greater representation uh, both in front and behind the camera, but of uh, gender equality, of disabled people. Um, it is for the BBC to draw up uh, their own plans and to deliver that general public purpose uh, that we have set out, uh, but obviously they will also be held to account uh, in the manner that they do so by Ofcom, but it is, it is not for us to tell the BBC precisely uh, how they should deliver that. Uh, that the b- proposals that we have put in place are those which were recommended by Sir David Clementi. They do allow the uh, BBC to appoint at least half the membership of the BBC board, uh, and that we have ensured that the BBC Director General's editorial independence is enshrined in the Charter. I completely agree with him. Uh, the integrity and impartiality of the BBC is absolutely fundamental. It is the reason why the BBC is respected around the world, and it is something which we are determined to preserve uh, and, if anything, strengthen. As I said, by public appointment process, will be no different to the one that the, 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 the uh, responsibilities that the existing BBC Trust has in terms of their reporting. I mean, they they are once appointed, uh, they are independent. They are not um, subject to any instruction by the government, um, and they will be accountable to the licence fee payer and indeed to Parliament, of course. And that is where uh, select committees um, uh, have a very important role. I'd also just say to the honourable lady, I. I I agree with her about the importance of not having any political pressure put on BBC employees, whatever uh, their level, and so I hope that she will join me in condemning the petition, which now has 15,000 signatures, which was initiated by the Jeremy 4pm campaign, calling for the sacking of the BBC political editor because they didn't like one of the stories she reported. ...set out in this white paper and the editorial independence and some sensible modernisation measures. I also particularly welcome the possibility of real economic benefit to my city of Norwich, home to a growing creative sector, through increased purchasing of independent content. Can the Secretary of State give any estimate of jobs numbers that may be linked to this measure? I, I can't. I, I, I first of all say to my honourable, la- to my honourable friend, uh, I, I imagine her, her city is not particularly happy today, uh, and I send my condolences on another, on, on another front for which I am responsible, which obviously is sport. Um, however, in terms of the potential job of opportunities by opening up competition, there is absolutely no question. I can't give her a precise figure, but we do believe that by allowing the independent production sector the ability to compete for 100% of the BBC's content, that will mean that hundreds of millions of pounds are now available uh, for the uh, production sector should they win those uh, commissions, and that obviously will create uh, jobs alongside it. And the creative industries, as I said earlier, have proved to be uh, one of our most successful sectors of the economy with the fastest rate of uh, job creation.